Just because this iPhone stand is low tech doesn't mean it's not awesome. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I picked up this little, I think it's a bamboo iPhone stand. And one of the things that I'm really curious about here is that this, not just a stand that's to hold your phone, it's actually to make your video watching, podcast, or music listening experience even better because it has these little openings in the bottom here. So you put your phone in there, speakers are on the bottom, and then you have this channel that opens up here and it's kind of like a little megaphone, a little horn. And so putting it in here and listening to your podcast, music, watching videos is supposed to be better because it's supposed to amplify the sound, direct it towards you. And so you're supposed to get a better experience. Now, as you can see here, it's all just bamboo construction. So it's got a little bit of weight. It feels very sturdy. I'm assuming this is milled out in layers and then pressed together and glued together, but it's pretty simple. It's decently wide so it can fit this tablet phone here i'm not sure that it will fit my phone with the case on it's not super deep you might be able to mill it out a little bit more it has to have a little bit of an angle to kind of prop it up and angle it towards you so i'm kind of curious to try it with the case and without as well as to see if it actually does make the audio any better so let's try it out all right so here's the stand and here's my iphone 13 pro max with the official apple magsafe case on it and i do want to show you i'm actually surprised because it fits now it's even angled a little bit i only call that maybe seven or eight degrees but it does sit and seems pretty stable it probably would be a little bit better if it leaned back just a little bit more but what's great about it is it fits front to back and side to side so i don't actually have to take it out of the case in order to use that which is great and if you have the woodworking tools you might be able to mill that out just a little bit more and make it a little bit easier now one of the things i want to do here is actually test if the audio quality improves with it so i'm going to turn the microphone around and face the stand and then we're going to test it out all right so i've got the microphone turned around and i've got the peter von panda podcast queued up here so i'm just going to go ahead and hit play the xg announcement that they just got bought out so thanks for joining me here i wanted to kind of go real time on something that's okay so that's the audio quality there i'm trying to not necessarily bounce it off the hardwood here but i'm just going to go ahead and slide it into the stand and see if that's any better for golfing information and i know some uh some of you all y'all on this channel here are for my golf content um even though it's not necessarily the only content <laughs> one might say all right actually i can tell a difference that is kind of weird because i'm not even sure which side is the speaker or the microphone you can see that they're both cut out which is nice but what was interesting is that it absolutely does focus the sound and direct it towards me now i will say it gets a little hollow and tinny but it sounds louder without having to do anything with the volume but it sounds louder and clearer as it goes into the stand, which is kind of maybe what you'd expect using wood as a megaphone. So I'm just going to do it one more time here and then we'll try it on some music. Okay, not even good content, but there are people out there that produce really good content. And so uh, a little background on what TSG is. Um, if you are here because of the topic that I put in the title, then you already know. If wow, you know, that's kind of cool. Basically. It just is much louder. I would rather hear it coming out of there. So I'm actually pretty impressed by that. So now I will actually want to test this with music. This is fearless motivation. And slide it in. All right, louder, more clear. I actually think it's a big benefit on the podcast when you're listening to voices. When I was listening to my voice, it just made my voice really clear. On the music, I think that tinniness is kind of making the music a little less bassy, and so it feels a little warmer and richer without it being in there, but it's definitely louder, and I also think it's directing it towards you. So let's say I worked in an office and I wanted to have it facing me, I could lower the volume on my phone, put out less volume and yet have that music, have that podcast, that audio being projected at me in a really clear way. 
in a more focused way so that I'm not disturbing as many people. So anyway, I really like this. It might just be something that you want to have in your office or your kitchen or something like that so that you can listen to your podcast or music and prop up your phone so that when you get alerts coming through, you can listen to those too. So if listening to music, following my podcast, watching my videos with a little clear, more focused audio is going to make your life a little bit better, I'll put a link to this stand in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.